Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new then hi, my name is Caitlin, welcome. And today is the first of the Declutter series. Oh boy. Uh, now this isn't the first that I'm filming. I have filmed my cheek declutter and my lip declutter, so they will be coming in the next few days, so stick around. But this is the first one going live and I'm not gonna lie, I have been putting it off. I've been stalling because I don't want to do it. Um, there is so much stuff in here that is so old and I, I'm i not ready to part with it yet, but I'm going to. Today's the day I'm going to do it. So we're going to go through primer, foundation, concealer and powder today. I want to be more conscious about base products because my skin is, I wouldn't say it's very sensitive, but like I've been putting this on my face and this is from 2017 and I've been having the worst breakouts, obviously. I didn't realize how old it was before you shout at me in the comments. But yeah, I need to get this sorted out. So I feel like this is going to be a very good declutter. But just before we jump into the video, if you have not already, definitely like and subscribe because as I said, we've got a lot of decluttering videos coming. I'm also doing Vlogmas, so I'm uploading every single day in the month of December. So stick around because you don't want to miss that. I do project pans, shop my stashes, get ready with me's, and obviously a lot of declutters. So yeah, stick around. All right, so I'm going to move this all off to the side and we're going to start with primer. Okay, here are my six primers that I currently own. Um, so yeah, let's just jump into it. This is my She Glam Birthday Skin Primer. This is currently in a project pan. Um, I will try and finish this in 2023. That's one of the goals because the the seal kind of came off. Uh, this, uh, it was a whole thing, but basically the the little plastic top thing that keeps the product fresh, it broke. So I would like to finish that sometime in the coming year because I don't want it going off. As I said, I'm really conscious about base products now. This is something that I really want to get on top of. So I will be keeping my She Glam. This collection filter finish, uh, this is very, very new. This is a dupe ooh, for the Charlotte Tilbury. And I, I don't know, I, I'm gonna keep it because I wanna keep hold of it. It's new, it's, you know, it's nice. I wanna find the hype for this. This is what I wanna do. I wanna keep using it. I wanna, yeah, just find the hype for it because I'm really not sure about it. Um, But yeah, I am gonna keep it because again, it's new and otherwise I'll be getting rid of like all of my primers. Something else that I'm keeping is my e.l.f. Power Grip. This is pretty new as well. I got this in the past year. It does say six months on it though, so I may need to hurry up with this. But I really do like this. Um, a lot of people on the internet are raving about it. I really enjoy it. I wanted to buy the Milk, what is it, the Hydra Grip? I think that's what it's called, for so long but I am not justifying £30 for a primer. So this is the next best thing. I really enjoy it. I'm keeping that. And then the last one that I am keeping is my Ofra Cool as a Cucumber. Again, I need to get this done because ugh, I got this in TK Maxx. And as we all know, TK Maxx is not known for having the most fresh uh, makeup. <laughs> so I know that this is probably older than should be going on my face, but it hasn't broken me out yet. I do enjoy it. it. The smell is amazing. Gabby, you can fight me. I love the smell. I know Gabby hates the smell on this, um, but yeah, I really enjoy it. But again, I need to get it done, which leaves these two. Now this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share a secret with you guys. This I put in the little batch code and I found out that this was made in 2018. Um, so no wonder my skin was breaking out when I was using this. To be honest, like it doesn't, maybe the color's a little bit off, but other than that, it's like fine. 
but obviously not because it was breaking me out. So this is going in the bin. This is being burned. <laughs> this should not be going anywhere near my face. Uh, so that's being decluttered, the first declutter. And this Essence Prime Studio, I found this broke me out as well. Uh, it didn't, it's not that old, but then it does have a six month use by date. So maybe it is. Uh, it, in the grand scheme of things, this isn't old, I wouldn't say, but you know, I'm not keeping things that are breaking me out. So that is gonna be decluttered as well. Okay, these are my foundations. And this is where my heart starts to hurt a little bit because I know I'm gonna have to get rid of most of these because these are, like these should not be going near anyone's face, most of them anyway. So let's start with these Makillo ones. I really like these. I got sent these in PR. They're really, really full coverage. Um, like I, I really, really, really enjoy these. Uh, I will leave my little affiliate link if you wanted to check them out in the description. They're hypoallergenic, they're SPF, all day wear, sweat proof, all that kind of stuff. So if you're after a new foundation, if you're in the market for one, go and check out my affiliate link. It would mean a lot, um, but obviously no pressure. I just really like that foundation. So they're staying. Okay, oh, I don't wanna do this. I don't wanna do this because I know most of these are gonna have to go. Where's my, I've got another one. There it is. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. This I've been putting on my face for about two weeks and my skin has never looked worse. Like I genuinely mean that. My skin has looked horrendous. It's scarred, it's got acne all over it. it it's genuinely awful and I'm, I mean, I'm guessing it's because of this, because I checked and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see now. It says 2017 Too Faced Cosmetics. I really love this foundation and you can't get it anymore, which is really, really upsetting, but I can't. I just can't continue to wear this because it is breaking me out. So I'm gonna get rid of that. That hurts my heart so bad. Oh, okay. Okay. I know I'm keeping this. This is my NYX Born to Glow. I bought this earlier this year. It was on recommendation from Make Me Up Missa and I really enjoy it. It does sink into my smile lines a little bit, but I mean, I'm gonna use this one up. Like I don't want to get rid of, okay. This one isn't old. This one I bought recently as well. Uh, this is probably my next to be project panned because it's probably my next oldest one. This is my Kiko Full Coverage 2-in-1 foundation. I do enjoy it, it's a little bit dry, so I'm gonna mix it with this, I think, and just try it out like that. Um, but yeah, I do like this, so I'm keeping that. Am I getting rid of all of these? I really don't want to, that's the thing. Oh, I'm getting rid of this. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to. Oh, I'm gonna have to though, aren't I? I'm seeing if there's a date on it. I know it's old though. I know this is so old. I'm gonna have to let this go. I got this from TK Maxx uh, on a really good deal. I'm gonna have to. Oh, I hate that. I hate wasting money. I, ah, this is the thing. It's the waste of money that gets to me. Um, but I'm gonna have to get rid of it because it is old. And as I said, I wanna, I wanna look after my face more. I wanna look after my skin more. So this is, it's, it has to go, it has to go. Oh, I hate that, I hate that so much. Okay, okay, okay. The e.l.f. Camo CC Cream, I, I didn't get this. I didn't understand. It expires September, 2022. So it's only just expired which means with my logic i can get another six months out of this <laughs> shut up okay shut up <laughs> i'm going to keep it because as i said it's it expired in september 2022 which is six months after i bought it yeah which means i can get like a year out of this that's my logic i'm keeping it fight me fight me I dare you. <laughs> okay, I've been oh, I've been putting this one off. 
This is my Flower Beauty Light Illusion. Now, when I first bought this, I really didn't like low coverage foundations, but I got this because everyone was raving about it. Yeah, this went off in August 2020. I'm gonna get rid of this, but I'm gonna use it one more time. Hear me out, hear me out. I'm gonna use it one more time. I'm gonna see if it sinks into my smile lines. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna buy a replacement after I've used some of these. That's my deal. I'm gonna get rid of it though. Oh, I hate that. Ooh. I hate it. I really hate it. Okay. Concealer, here we go. This is my most stressful one yet. My cheek declutter was not as stressful. My lip declutter was not as stressful. This is stressing me out so bad. Okay, so. I hate and love when they put expiry dates on makeup because I can see when it expires, but also I can see when it expires. You know what I mean? Right. What are we doing? Right. Kiko Active. I like this concealer and if you didn't know, I'm a dance student. I sweat a lot. So I need something to control my sweatiness. So I'm gonna keep that. My AOA, I'm gonna keep all my AOA ones. Again, fight me. This one, uh, you can see I've almost finished. So it'd be stupid to just get rid of it. Or it could be an empty. So I'm gonna keep that one. And I, I as I said, I really do like the AOA formula. This is one pound. <gasps> Guys, this is one pound. How can you not love this for one pound? It's amazing. So I'm keeping them. Okie dokie. This L'Oreal, it's so dry. And it's so old. It's old and it's dry. I have really, really dry skin. If you didn't know, well now you know. I have really dry skin. This is quite a dry formula. I have finished off one of them before. But also L'Oreal isn't cruelty free. So I do want to get 100% cruelty free. So I will be decluttering this one. Okay, 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 okay. This one, I haven't played around too much. This is my She Glam concealer. It is very light. <laughs> it is very, very light. So um, I'll probably mix it with something that's quite a bit darker, like this AOA one. That's in light ivory. Uh, the She Glam one is in the shade Whipped Cream. So yeah, I will play around with this one some more. I don't like getting rid of things when I haven't used them that much. So I'm going to keep that. And you know what? I'm going to keep both of these as well. Should I? Probably not. Should I get rid of this one? No, I'll keep them both. You know what? I will. I'm going to do it. I did so well on my foundations. So um, I'm allowed. I'm allowed. This is my Too Faced Born This Way. I do want to finish this this year. Well, next year, technically. Um, it is getting old. And hang on, can I see the bottom of this? Yeah, I can. So this is really close to being done. So I'm going to continue working on this. And the collection last imperfection. It's, it's just, it's an oldie but a goodie. Still smells fine. I'm keeping it. I'm sorry that was not as good, but you know what? Yeah, I don't have any excuse. Okay, so let's start with the Revlon Photo Ready. I have made a lot of progress in this, as you can see. We've hit pan, we've got a big dip in it, so I would like to finish this uh, in the coming year. And Revlon is not cruelty free, so that will get a non-cruelty free brand out of my collection. Too Faced, this again, uh, I could do with getting this out of my collection, but um, yeah, I'm gonna, I, I fly through powders, that's the thing. So I'm gonna keep this and get through it. This I've been waiting to declutter. Today's the day, finally. This, this must have expired like really quickly because I remember I used, this is, I should tell you what it is. This is the Revolution Pro Skin Finish in Opalescent. And I got this from recommendation from Missa again. And I used to put this on my skin and it used to be glowy. Like it's, I don't know if you can see it on my hand. Like it used to be glowy. It used to be beautiful all day. But then I noticed it started to make like a film on my skin. 
like my skin you could see like there was like a film of like something over it and it just it did not look good anymore so I will be decluttering that then these are my loose powder technically this is a pressed as well I love this thing I love this for traveling this has a loose and a pressed powder this is my she glam insta ready I love that I really do love that but this is probably going to be not next year like 2024 focused because it's quite new and I do enjoy it and you know what I'm keeping both of these as well my by Terry is my favorite I absolutely love it got this from TK Maxx on a steal so I'm keeping that and my Coty Airspun this is going to be my focus powder for 2023 just because it's it's not cruelty free and I think it's my oldest powder right now so I am gonna focus on that so I'm keeping that so this wasn't my best declutter um definitely stick around in the coming few days for really good declutters <laughs> this was hard this was hard for me but I think I did quite well considering um I have like I don't like wasting money and I bought all these things myself so yeah I did I did very well <laughs> so that is where I'm gonna love you and leave you guys if you did enjoy this video please like and subscribe as I said we're doing vlogmas so many more declutters coming very soon so stick around have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video bye bye